Hello! It is a lovely Sunday and I decided that I am going to vlog this week because I am currently roommateless because my roommate is visiting home and I decided that I wanted to show you what my life is as a college student but specifically as a VCU art student uh, during COVID and all those restrictions and it's gonna be a fun time. So I live in the traditional style dorms here which means that I share a communal bathroom with a bunch of other people and I honestly don't mind it. I know a lot of people are like, oh no, I hate sharing bathrooms. The only thing that I really don't like about it is like when I'm so tired but I still need to like brush my teeth or something. We don't have sinks in here so I have to go brush my teeth over there and I just wish sometimes that I could like, or like rinse something or pour water like into the sink. I usually don't make breakfast here, but since Shayla isn't here and she usually uses like all of the eggs we have, I decided to make breakfast. So I have to do my laundry and Sundays are really busy, so usually I will check and see if they're available. It says that there are seven washers available and I totally do not believe that. I'm sure people's clothes are in that. But that's a better number than I was expecting. I'm really surprised, actually, a lot of these are empty, so. Mm. So while that is going, I have to really get started on something for my UNIF class, which is our technical writing class. I put some makeup on just because I felt like it. I don't have to do as much as I thought I did, so I'm gonna try to like do what I usually do on my Mondays, which is like collect what I'm gonna do for the next week and like make a list of it and stuff. I came back to my room quickly to get my Reese's, but I'm heading down to Charlotte and Claire's and we're gonna eat and watch a movie. A smoothie. Instead they see a 28 year old healthy man trying his best. <laughs> I'm back in my room and it's like 1am uh, and I still have something I have to do for Univ that I have to turn in late. Oops. That was totally my fault. But after that, I am gonna get ready for bed because I am gonna wake up early tomorrow or early-ish. I need to go to Kroger before two, because I have things I need to get. I just love looking outside and like seeing all the lights and it's just like so, 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 so pretty. Good morning, it's actually morning, which is impressive for me. I am going to go to Kroger. I'm gonna change and probably get something to eat on the way there.
First we're gonna go to Oblong Pong because I'm gonna get a little pastry if it's open and then we'll head to Kroger. back it is hotter than I thought it was outside so I'm actually wearing like a little too much but I'm gonna put my groceries in the fridge and then I'm gonna change because I'm gonna go dye my hair for a project I'm having a little bit of the rosemary bread that I bought which is like very actually so good I don't know why I said it like that but it's really good I think it's really hard to tell on camera, but my hair is definitely a different color. We had to use a lot of the green though I had, so it's kind of like similar, but it is more teal. It looks really cool. It's shorter too. Now I'm gonna go change and look at the script for the thing I'm helping my friend with. <laughs> so just got back to my room and it's very late. I did have dinner with some friends and then we hung out and now I have some homework that I need to get done. I am now trying to go through my Google Calendar and put everything that I made for plans. I have a lot of plans that I need to write down. So I had a little impromptu uh, laundry that I have to do and it's 12.30 which means I'm not going to bed until 2 at the earliest, which is fine. Just a period thing. We love having X chromosomes. I'm calling Joanna. Hi. It's like 1.30 but still have to be awake because my laundry, so yay. <laughs> I'm finally going to bed at almost 6 in the morning. Hello, it's 11.45, so it's actually not that late. Um, and that's because I have things I need to do, so I cannot sleep in, um, even though I stayed up a little too late. Um, and my hair is a little crazy, but that's okay, and I need to start my day, so good morning. Heading over to John's so we can do art history. So there's this place on campus called Spoon. And it's an Asian fusion restaurant, and I love going to it. So me and John got food, but he had a haircut right after. So I'm gonna eat it right before class, because on Tuesdays, I have one of my studio classes in Art Foundation, which is your first year at VCU Arts. If you are in certain majors, you have to fulfill these requirements before you can actually declare your major. The class that I have later today is called Time Studio. And basically, it is a class where we learn about film and photography and movement in art, I guess, if that makes sense. We learn about sound and stuff like that. It's a very fun class. I actually really like it um, and I've learned a lot so I have been working on the project. That's why I dyed my hair, um, is for that project. And you probably saw maybe a little clip of it. Maybe I'll put it in later of the project. But look at my food. This looks so good. I'm so excited. It's really loud, so I don't know if you can hear me. But my time studio ended early because we have a work day, but I'm pretty caught up in what I need to do for that project. So I'm here doing my glass with some friends and so that's what I'm going to be doing for the next like couple of hours.
as much as I think I will with this one, and it looks pretty good. There are places that I definitely could get it more polished, and it's a little scratched up, but like, that's normal. I'm pretty happy with that, but I'm really upset about this. I dropped it while I was using the belt, and it completely shattered into these three big pieces, but also a lot of little tiny pieces and a lot of shards. Yep, that's what happens when you're an art student. Mistakes happen. Me and Char have been getting through all of the Marvel movies, so we watched Endgame tonight, and like... Anyway, I have to do homework now, and so I have class tomorrow morning that I have to get up early for, um, and so I am trying to get everything that I need to get done. I'm heading to bed. I have to get up early because I have class, so see you tomorrow. Good morning, it's 8.30 and I really need to get ready <laughs> to go to my class at 9 and it's about a 10 minute walk, so let's go. And make sure that the blade is in the middle of this you know, piece. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> okay, now, the pit here is a little bit, uh, that. I'm having the leftovers from yesterday, and then I am gonna read or start reading Joanna's poetry book collection because um, I'm one of their beta readers, so I'm very excited. After I'm done eating, I'm gonna, I think, try to do my dishes real quick, and then I am meeting up with Claire and I'm gonna film her for my project and then I have other endless amounts of homework to do. So I filmed Claire and then I filmed me painting this and now I'm going to edit my video. It shouldn't take too long, I just have to do a voiceover and then it'll be done. Are we what is becoming? As humans, can we change infinitely and continue on? I finished it. It's very abstract and interesting, but I kind of like it. And the thing I wrote for it is not my best work, but I still like it. It's something for my time class, so it's not really something that I would like make, I guess, in my own free time, but I had fun and the whole point was to do a type of performance and then do it in live stop motion, which is called pixelation, and so it comes with like a really interesting like effect, I guess. And I did a lot of editing with overlaying and transparency and stuff, so, yeah. The homework I have now is my astronomy, and then after I have UNIV. I actually got a lot of homework done today, so I'm not that worried, but there are some things that I'm gonna try to get done before I go to bed, but I am gonna wash my dishes right now because for some reason I have a lot. Okay, I finally finished what the fuck I was trying to get done. Ugh. And it's done. And it's okay. It's a lot of experimentation things and play with color and stuff. And I haven't 
exactly gotten there yet, but I know now I can change it different colors as we see here. But also, oh my god, it is 321. Oh, I literally never understand how time passes like that. I think it's like the qualms of being an art student is like you just get so invested in something that you're working on and then you just keep working and then sooner it's six hours later and you're like oh my god okay so uh yeah <laughs> Hello, good morning. Today is a very exciting day. It is April 1st, and for us, first year art students, that is our major declaration day. So we like receive an email saying that you get into our major. I'm very excited uh, that I can officially call myself a craft major. I can call myself a double major and I'm no longer an art foundation major, I guess. So I actually have a lot less stuff that I thought I had to do. I do have class for three hours today, so that didn't really like cut <laughs> that much of like my busy schedule down, but I'm just gonna like take it slow, gonna um, eat something before I have my three hour Class. And that class that I have is also time, uh, so I have time on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 2.15 to 5.15. The other synchronous class that I have is Surface, which is 8.45 to 11.45, and then 2.15 to 5.15, so it's a full day. I decided that I'm gonna go make lunch because I have a lot of things here that I could use, so let's do that. Just some bread and <laughs> eggs. Oh Same yeah. thing. Aloha. Oh, hello, you're back lit. Yeah, oh, well, that's the way it should be. Yes. Always put yourself yeah. in good lighting. That's yeah. <laughs> I used to make this basically like every day back at home so this is like my go-to is like eggs on toast and then a couple of other slices and it looks so good <laughs> works and we are going to try to get service in order to work so all the restaurants. So we're gonna go ahead and get started because as you know we are on a schedule today and I wanted to make sure this is much later than the last clip you saw of me talking was but a lot of different things have happened today and so I'm actually gonna end this vlog early I think you've got a really good idea of what my weeks usually look like or at least what my weeks look like when I don't have a roommate. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that I gave a little insight into what it's like to be a VCU art student and if you want me to make more content like this, leave a comment. If you like this type of content, please subscribe and if you liked this video in particular, maybe give it a like. And I hope to see you here again. I had a good day. I hope that you have a good day and see you next time.